Okay, today we're going to learn how to create a fake Instagram feed in Show It. So the benefits of using um, a fake Instagram feed is that you're not using any widgets or plugins on your website for this. And a lot of times what happens is those can be a bit finicky and sometimes those can even slow your website down, which we really don't want to do. So um, you may be using a third party service for your Instagram feed and show it also um, just started offering a social feed in one of their recent updates. So what you can do is actually pull in the Instagram feed with within show it with their social feed tool. But I've still seen a few issues pop up with this, um, whereas some quit connecting and um, one of my clients, they didn't even realize it happened. So uh, on her footer, the feed just wasn't even there for quite a while. Um, you can also choose backup images for that social feed in case the connection gets wonky or there's um, some sort of an error, it could pull in those background images. But this is a different way where it's more lightweight, it's more customizable, and you're not relying on any other service to pull that feed into your website. So let's take a look. This is the Josephine website template um, from my shop. And what I want to do is add um, a, a what looks like an Instagram feed, but I call it a fake Instagram feed because it's not actually pulling in from your Instagram account. So the good, the other good thing about this is that you can have these images customized on your website. Whereas if it were pulling from a feed, it would just pull in your most recent post. And sometimes that isn't ideal if you're maybe some of your posts are um, for a sale you're running or maybe some of them are recent reels and you really just want it to be static images that are really some of your best posts from Instagram. So the way to do that is to go ahead and add your first image onto the canvas where you'll be adding your Instagram feed or your fake Instagram feed. And I'm going to go ahead and just resize this image to 150 pixels wide by 150 pixels tall. And on the mobile version, um, I'm going to do the same thing actually. And I'm just going to drag it into place where I want it to go. And then I'm just going to duplicate it and move that right next to um, the first one. So you can see they're a little bit large for mobile because I want to put four in this area. So I'm just going to grab them both on mobile and scale them down a bit. And then I'm just going to go ahead and grab them again, duplicate them and drag them over. So on desktop, I want it to be a three um, three by two grid and on mobile I want it to be um, a two by two. So for these last two what I want to do on desktop is fill this space in with two more images but on uh, mobile I'm just going to go ahead and hide those images because I just want to keep it really concise and um, small for the mobile version. Alright, so now all you need to do is hop in there and go ahead and replace those images. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a few of these. Okay. And now I'm just going to kind of move that around to where I want it. Okay. So that looks great. So now we have our images that are going to represent our Instagram feed. But now what we want to do is link to our Instagram page. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and create a rectangle. And you want to set the opacity to zero. So it's basically just a clear box. And I'm going to do the same thing on mobile. And then what I want to do is drag that over the images that I've chosen and just resize it to fit here. Okay, and that's it, we're almost done. So the very last step is to go ahead and link that 
clear box to your Instagram feed or to your Instagram page. So what we'll do is just go to click actions URL and then we'll put our Instagram link right there and you can choose to either have it open in a new window or go directly to Instagram. I would recommend opening it in a new window because really uh, we want to keep users on our website for as long as possible and even though we are offering them the option to follow us on Instagram or to communicate or connect with us there. We still want the focus to be on our website and the fact that they were at our website browsing our content and offerings. So that's it. That's how you make a fake Instagram feed. And um, it's really great, like I said, because it's, it's very predictable. Nothing's going to break or change, whereas some of these widgets and plugins and social feeds and things like that, sometimes they can lose connection or even slow down your website. So if this is an option that you were interested in, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later. Bye.